Well, if you want to know why some paintings are framed under glass, whereas some are not having any glass covering, then this art chat is for you. My name is Mandar Marathe and to answer this question, let me switch to my desk view so that I can show you the reason and explain to you the reason behind using glass or not. Before we get into why glass, let us first talk about uh, why frame at all. By putting a frame, you are separating the painting from its surroundings. When you put it on a wall, then you are kind of giving it, uh, the painting a demarcation. So, you, you are suggesting that the viewer should look at this, you are giving importance to the painting. You are also trying to protect it from uh, buckling and physical damage and you are also telling uh, the viewer or to, when you put it in your house uh, to all around that you value the painting, you are giving it importance that is why there is a frame around it. Then uh, the question of whether to use glass or not comes uh, to the fore. What does uh, the glass covering on the painting do? It protects the painting from <coughs> sorry, dust, moisture and touch. There are people who sometimes walk up to the painting and try and touch it and which is obviously bad for the painting surface and that is uh, avoided when you have glass on it. Uh, again, when you have glass, the, there is less uh, contact of the painting with the air and so moisture does not get absorbed into the substrate or on, on the painting which on the thing on which the painting is done and obviously dust would not settle on the painting because there is a glass protection uh, given to it. There are two reasons why uh, or there are two aspects why uh, on which the painting whether to fr uh, put it under glass or not is decided. First thing is what is it painted on? There are uh, all painting surfaces are not made equal. There are some fragile uh, painting surfaces like paper because paper is prone to getting torn and buckle and things like that. Then uh, there are uh, materials which are much more durable in nature like canvas, wood or metal. Generally they do not degrade so much as paper that is why uh, they are considered more durable. Then there are there is uh, aspect of what kind of colors are used in the painting. Uh, I am talking about the medium of painting. It could if it is watercolor or pastel then these colors are not fixed and by that what I mean is that even if you touch a finished watercolor painting with your finger you there is a chance that the color will uh, move around okay and uh, that you want to avoid and uh, but there is no way you can pro there is you do not generally apply any varnish on watercolor paintings okay. So, there is always a danger of you smudging the color if you touch the painting. Then pastel is obviously the medium which uses the least amount of uh, medium or fixative. That is why when you touch the uh, pastel painting, you immediately color get the pigment on your finger. And so, these painting surfaces, uh, the painting which are used by uh, painted using these uh, mediums need to be protected from touch, from moisture um, and from dust because you cannot wipe them because if water gets absorbed then the color might loosen up and move around and if you if person happens to touch then uh, the pigment will move around. So, uh, then you need a, a glass on the painting whereas, uh, mediums such as oil and acrylic become permanent when they dry which means um, once the painting is dry you can touch it and nothing happens to the pigment or the color. Uh, you can even wipe with a damp cloth and uh, you can clean it and so on and uh, both these mediums uh, do not absorb any moisture. One is uh, oil because when the oil film forms it is uh, it does not get affected by uh, water or moisture and same is true with acrylics. 
and generally oil and acrylic paintings are painted on more durable materials like canvas, wood and metal. Whereas, watercolor and pastel uh, medium is mostly used on paper. In which case, first thing is the material itself is fragile or the surface is fragile and the color is also not fixed. So, it needs the protection of glass. Whereas, when you paint oils and acrylics which are fixed mediums and they are painted on durable material, that is why you do not need the glass. That is the main reason behind choosing whether to use glass or not. Then you might say that there are some paintings in museums which are made in oils, but uh, they are framed under glass. So, there is uh, it is not to say that no oil paintings are framed under glass. There are some cases when it is done and that has many reasons for protection over generally these paintings are very old may be centuries old and so the, they need more protection than more recent paintings. Then uh, when but there are disadvantages of having a glass on the painting. Uh, which is that if there is a light source then pe when people come and view your painting, uh, people tend to see the reflection of glass in the painting on the painting surface, which is of, of course bad for the uh, viewer because he cannot see the painting clearly. There are non-reflective glasses, but uh, again they have a rough surface which makes them slightly opaque and you cannot see the real colors of the painting because of the opacity. So, not having a glass is the best way you can view a painting, but whether if you want to protect it more then you have to compromise uh, that kind of feel and use glass to protect it. So, that is it for uh, this topics uh, explanation. And if you have any questions which you want to get answered, then you should post them here at marathiartstudio.com slash questions, so that I get to see them and I can answer them in upcoming art chats. And uh, irrespective of whether you are watching this live or as a recording uh, and wherever you are watching this uh, on YouTube or Facebook or Twitch. If you like this video then give give this a thumbs up and follow and uh, subscribe to my channel as appropriate on the social media wherever you are watching this and keep painting. Until next time happy painting. Thanks.